Hearthstone's next expansion has just been revealed, The Great Dark Beyond. This expansion takes place in outer space and will follow the Drenes journey through the cosmos. A couple of cards have already been revealed, but let's try and imagine what other cards we could see, like this one. Crackling Space Rock is a 2 mana 2-2 two, two elemental and it has Spell Burst. That's right, if you haven't heard, the old keyword Spell Burst will return to standard in the Great Dark Beyond expansion. Crackling Space Rock Spell Burst will add 2 random arcane spells to your hand, but they are temporary. I'm also going to predict that Mage is gonna get a spell called Supernova. Now it might not look exactly like this, but I feel confident about this name. The Great Dark Beyond also introduces the new keyword, Starship. Starships are powerful minions you build yourself over the course of the game by summoning minions with the Starship Peace keyword. Once those die, they will get added to your Starship, giving it the stats and effects of the minions, and you can then summon your Starship onto the battlefield for 5 mana whenever you choose. Six of the classes will gain access to this new mechanic in the expansion. I made this prediction for another starship piece we might see for Paladin, Orbital Laser. This 4 mana 2-3 minion is a starship piece, like I said, and it will deal 2 damage to all enemies at the end of your turn. This means your starship will also deal 2 damage to all enemies at the end of your turns once you launched it. Even though this might look like a mech, I choose not to make it one since none of the starship pieces revealed so far have been mechs, and neither are the starships themselves. Should they be mechs? Probably, but I don't really want to get into a whole rant in this video. Psych! The Great Dark Beyond also introduces a new minion type to Hearthstone, the Drene. Many of the new cards from the expansion will feature this type and older cards will get updated too. I want to talk a bit about this new minion type while I show some of the new cards I've made that feature the type. So the introduction of the Drene comes with a couple of problems. Unlike other minion types like Murlocs and Naga we've had introduced in the past, Drene is not actually the name for a race of people in the Warcraft universe. If you don't know about the Drene, there are a group of people that used to hail from the planet Argus, and they were originally called the Eredar. This is the name for the species, Eredar. The name Drene is just a title that a group of Eredar took for themselves when they fled the planet Argus. It literally means exiled ones. Biologically, the Drene are still identical to the Eredar who used to live on Argus. So here's why this minion type becomes problematic. All the Eredar that didn't flee Argus were not called Drene, and most of them eventually became demons, such as the new Archimon card or old cards like Minari Marsha. Since these characters did not flee Argus and never became Drene, it makes sense that they are simply classified as demons. But check out this new card I made. This is Socrata. Socrata is a 7 mana 15 3 legendary for Warlock with Rush, and he only takes 1 damage at a time. And then when he dies, he will replace your hero, giving you a 15 2 weapon, the Inferno Hero Power, and Socrata's effects to only take 1 damage at a time, but he will also set your health to 3. I know that's a pretty crazy effect, but I'm gonna need you to ignore all of that. You may notice that Socrata has the Demon Drain minion type. This is because in the lore, Socrata was once the Drene Exarch Otha who we're about to see in the new expansion, but Otha betrayed the other Drene and became a demon. Because of this, he should be a demon Drene, since he was originally a Drene. So why is this a problem? Well, Socrata looks nearly identical to a card like Manari Masha, despite that card not having the Drene type. Imagine being a new player and seeing these cards, or heck, how about just seeing Archimand who looks just like Prophet Velen, but they each have different types. Still not convinced? Okay, check out this new card I made. Krokul Survivor. This is a 3 mana 2-5 minion with Rush that will gain stealth after a minion with a type is played. So what's so special about this card? Look at this card side by side with a card like Ashtong Battlelord. Same face, same species, but Ashtong Battlelord is almost certainly going to get the Drene minion type once the Great Dark Beyond releases, because in the lore, the Ashtong tribe are an offshoot of the Drene. So why doesn't my Krokul Survivor have it? Well, this is because my Krokul Survivor never left the planet Argus, and thus never became Drene despite looking identical to the broken Drene of Outland. See why this could become a problem? Now you may be thinking, those are just custom cards, why does this matter? It does because both of these cards are accurate to the lore of Warcraft and they present a future problem should Blizzard decide to introduce these or related characters to Hearthstone. 
Blizzard can of course just choose not to involve these characters in the game, but that feels like avoiding the problem rather than dealing with it. So what do I propose? I suggest Blizzard scraps the Draenei minion type and replaces it with the Eredar minion type. Since Ereda is the name for the species itself, all those problems would be avoided and it only means having to change a couple of cards from demons into demon Eredar cards. Alright, enough about that. That's it for this video, sorry for the long rant, I just had a few thoughts on my mind. Let me know if you think I have a point or if the Draenei minion type is perfectly fine as is. And tell me what you think about my predictions. Thanks for watching, subscribe and all that and I'll see you next time.